TMZ Pop Quiz. What does Morgan Wallen have in common with Taylor Swift? No, he doesn't command an army that would march into hell for him. We mean! He's re-recording his earliest songs to stop the label that owns it. So back in 2014, before Morgan Wallen was famous, he signed to a label called Panacea Records and recorded 13 songs for them. Only five of them he said were good enough to release. The label still owns the other songs, so now they're releasing all 13 tracks. He is not happy about this. It's gross, greedy, and an example of how the dark side of the music business can suck the soul out of artists. So the, the big single from that album was called Spin You Around, and now he's released Spin You Around 124, which is the date it was recorded. Cause I just wanna spin you round and round this dance floor. He's re-recorded this song to try and draw attention away from this record label, releasing the original version. Yeah, cause what did that label ever do for him besides launch a career that's made him rich beyond the dreams of avarice? Morgan Wallen at the time, he needed a record label. And these people were investing and they could have ended up with nothing. They are trying to capitalize on Morgan Wallen's success. And he's just saying it's dirty. Why is it dirty? Oh, hold on. He made the music and doesn't want it out. It's theirs and they took a chance on an unknown artist, invested in him, and they want to make a profit. It's silly. Have you seen this show the first few seasons? Would you be cool with it? The episode's coming out? Not the first season. The second on is fine. No, no, no. You have to rewatch. <laughs> Oh, you mean because he ended the show like this? And that's your Daily Dose and then some. Thanks for spending some time in the 30 Mile Zone. Aged like fine milk. Young artists sometimes get taken advantage of, but they can dry their tears with $1,000 bills. Goodbye, everybody!